Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C demo series. In this demonstration, I will show you how to use Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C to provision Oracle Fusion middleware software for the first time by using an existing media provisioning profile. This video is applicable to Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C Release 4 with Fusion Middleware Plugin Release 12.1.0.7. This demonstration assumes that the required installation media, in this example the media for Oracle SOA Suite, has already been downloaded from Oracle, uploaded to the Enterprise Manager software library, and exposed as a media-based provisioning profile. Next, I assume that host targets exist onto which I want to create this new installation. Similarly, I also assume that a database target exists to which I can provision the database required for this profile. And lastly, I assume that any Oracle HTTP server or LDAP server targets that I want to integrate with this domain already exist. In order to provision from an installation media profile, I will log in as an administrator who has been granted the provisioning designer role. Navigate to the middleware provisioning page. This page provides a summary of all of the middleware provisioning profiles and deployment procedures available to this administrator. In this example, I want to install a fresh copy of Oracle SOA Suite 11G Patch Set 6 onto a new piece of hardware. So I select an existing media-based provisioning profile with that label and click the Provision button. Since I want to create a SOA domain that spans two hosts, I add two host targets and specify the same credentials for both. In the middleware section, I accept the default file system destination for my middleware profile. I also select a Java installation, which in this example is already present on the two destination host targets. In addition, I must provide administrator credentials for the new WebLogic domain. In the database section, I specify settings in order to create a new schema in an existing database that I already discovered in Enterprise Manager Cloud Control earlier. In the Identity and Security section, I select an already discovered LDAP target and then provide its credentials and schema information. In the Web Tier section, you can optionally front end your new WebLogic domain with an already discovered web server target like Oracle HTTP Server. Select the target and then provide its credentials. Now I could simply submit these values and begin the installation procedure now, but alternatively I can save these inputs as a custom deployment procedure in order to accelerate future deployments. These custom procedures can also lock certain input fields, which will restrict other users from modifying them when they run the procedure.
By default, only the creator of a custom procedure may execute it, so I grant access to another user. Now I will log in as this operator user and launch the custom procedure. In the Schedule section, you can choose to either run this procedure immediately or at a later time. You can also customize the notifications, such as email messages, that you will receive as the procedure executes. And finally, you can optionally run the procedure in a special Analyze mode. In this mode, Enterprise Manager will run all of the prerequisite checks for the procedure but not actually provision anything. After submitting the deployment procedure, I can track its progress from the Procedure Activity page. And for troubleshooting purposes, I can view the details and results of each step involved in the procedure. And lastly, I verify the presence of these new middleware targets. So that concludes this demonstration on the use of an existing media-based middleware provisioning profile with Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C. Now you can quickly and consistently install Oracle middleware products across your enterprise. Thanks for watching.